What is up, guys? How is everybody doing tonight? Uh, I'm not exactly sure why I'm streaming, but since Megan is on her way home in the air and looking for something to do, thought, why not? So, and I can't believe it. We actually have people coming in for an impromptu stream. Miguel Benitez Jr., buddy, I cannot, I mean, you are wise beyond your years and and the way you speak and the 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 descriptions that you gave in Disney Day and stream tonight were incredible. Hey Meg, um yeah, I did this for Meg. So she wanted something to watch while she was in her flight. So my Disney Park memories, how are you? Juan Rodriguez. Thank you, Juan. Juan, I put a bow. It's hard to see in my picture anyways, but I put a bow on top of your minion that you got. Uh it's a little cargo bow. So Disney Life for me. Hey, thank you guys for being here. Perfectly Cat. Seven is enough. How are you? Perf uh, perfectly Cat again. Hey, Samantha. So, uh, Shep, buddy, I can take a guest, buddy, if you want it, if you want to come on. Um, I'm just going to, first, I'm going to show uh, some stuff that I'm giving for upcoming giveaways, but you are welcome to join me. Uh, this is so awesome. Oh, Meg, no problem. Uh, I've been on a flight before, I know. It, it's not, it's not that entertaining. So, let me get, um, you see, R. Johns, how are you, buddy? So what I thought I'd do is at least, uh, Michelle Verico, how are you? Thank you so much for being here. I thought I'd show you, We I have five giveaways coming up, five coming up soon. And I uh, don't want to mention a couple of them, what they are yet, but I do want, I thought we could show you the items that we have. Um, I've been at the Disney store three or four times in the last, I, I don't know, month or so. So, and I was there again today and got another, another haul. So thought we could, um, we could uh, show you guys what I got, but let me start with, uh, this is not for a giveaway, but I thought it was so cute that I had to get it. It's for my niece, but I got this, uh, this Bambi hoodie or hat, whatever, along with these, or is that lady? That's lady. I'm sorry. I got this lady hat along with these little tramp gloves. So that's not for the giveaway, but that's for my niece. So. Um, okay, I only have a little bit about an hour left. Wow, still an hour, Meg. That's crazy. Okay, so here's some things I do have coming up for future giveaways. So, I do have this little Baymax plush, he's kind of cute, so he'll be coming up. I have a Louis and Baloo plush from the Jungle Book. They will be going on a giveaway soon as well. I picked this up today. Thought it was kind of cute from Lady and the Tramp. It's called Disney's Furry Tail Friends. So it comes with a little house, and then that is Jacques down there. I think it's Jacques. Looks like Jacques. So I have Jacques and a little house up there. Then we have, <clears throat> oh, and if you haven't noticed yet, oh, you can't see. Wait a minute. Maybe you can't see. Yeah. I got a set of, uh, ears on Yoda now. That was Cargo's suggestion. So I, I've got my up ears on Cargo or on um, Yoda now. I have this coming up as well. Uh, the limited release uh, Jungle Book DVD and Blu-ray. So that's coming up. And then for one, when I do, now that I'm getting close, uh, I am close to a thousand Meg. I know it's kind of shocking. So I do have I do have a few of these things that are going to go towards that, but I am preparing for a, a giveaway for a 1,000 sub giveaway, and I wanted to include this. This is a really cool set that I found. I actually found two of them at the Disney store. Um, I bought one for myself and then one for the giveaway, but this is the, I think I may have shown this before, the 60th anniversary pin set for Sleeping Beauty, and it, it, it's got Aurora, Maleficent, and then it's got another pin that just says Sleeping Beauty. So... It is, it's a pretty good set. I think it's limited to, yeah, it's limited edition of $35.50. So, hey, Walt, buddy, how are you, partner? Um, but anyways, it is, it is originally retailed for $49.95. I didn't pay that for it. I think I paid $30 for it. But I wanted to include some, some kind of pins because pins are a big portion of what I do. But I, that'll be in my 1,000 sub giveaway as well. Hey, Charlie Stacy, Disney Nerd Herders, thank you for being here. Lorena Zap, I can never say that, Zapata, I think it is. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, if I missed a human person, thank you so much for being here. Yes, the mini max plush is cute. 
Okay. And then one thing that we're going to start doing new is, yes, Meg, that, that is a really cool set. I, they only had two. I've never even seen this set. They, they only had two. I'm keeping one for myself. And then I figured I'd include one of my 1,000 sub giveaway. So, um, oh, I do have this. I picked this up today for another giveaway as well. This is the new Aladdin pin set. Um, comes with those four pins there. It is a limited release uh, set. It doesn't say limited edition, but it's a limited release ensemble of four pins. So that, that will be for a giveaway. And then I do have something new I'm going to start doing in a Disney Life for Me inspired trivia. Of course, I've been a uh, trivia has been a big part of my YouTube journey, getting to where I'm at today. So I oh Meg, you didn't get to go to the character warehouse. That's not good. I want to go there when I get down there in August. So, um, but anyways, I've got I've got to start doing this thing once a month, I think, or or once every other month called Impossible Disney Trivia, and it's it's something that I thought of for a while it, when you watch an animated movie the things that I happen to notice that nobody else seems to notice or like signs that are in the background or any of that kind of stuff. We're going to ask a lot of questions about that and we're going to try to do it again once a month, maybe once every other month. And we're doing one Monday on my show on Mondays. It's uh, eight o'clock and it'll be an impossible Disney trivia in honor of the live action Aladdin coming out. That's impossible. <laughs> so, um, so we're going to be doing an impossible Disney trivia for Aladdin, the animated movie. So, and, um, Hey Angela, how are you? Um, the questions will be pretty hard. Some of them will be a little easier that you can at least try to guess numbers or something like that, but Googling will be encouraged and needed at times. So there, we don't have a lot of questions. I'm going to try to keep it to 20 to 25 questions. Keep it. If we need them all, we will. But I will be giving a prize away each time. So the first one I did pick up is the first, the winner of Monday's trivia will get this genie, and it comes with a little lamp. So it is a – he looks like rubber. I can't tell if it's a plush or not. It's um, It just says Disney. It says Disney Princess right here in the corner. And then it's, it's just the genie with the Aladdin. So whoever wins on Monday will get that. And then we do have a lion. King one up will do for when the Lion King movie comes out. It's spooky out here tonight. Well, you need to wear one. Walt, you would look good in one of those headlamp flashlights. I can see you wearing one of those. So definitely get yourself a uh, headlamp flashlight and and just uh, run around the block. And anyways, what we got for our um, Lion King give, trivia night will be these friendship necklaces for Timon and Pumbaa. And I don't know if I can get them. There they are. So they are two necklaces. The The cardboard is perforated. So you can give one to a friend and one to, a, you know, keep for yourself, but they are Timon and Pumbaa. It's like if Haley or Meg one, they could give one to the, each of the other. So, but they are, uh, that'll be our giveaway for our Lion King trivia, impossible trivia when we do that. So, but that is what we got. So I just wanted to show you guys some of that and get, kind of keep, uh, I want to play Lion King trivia. Yes, Meg. And again, when you watch these movies, keep an eye out for the absurd things that you wouldn't normally, it, I mean, it's not going to be like, what's the name of Jasmine's Tiger? It's not going to be that easy or that uh, straightforward. So, um, but okay. And then uh, Shep, if you want, let me see if I can throw it out here so you can join me. But that is what we got for giveaways, guys. Got a, uh, just been going to the Disney store, picking up things for when we need something. Um, it was, I, I like shopping there. I just, I see Dole Whip Dad do it all the time. Jeff over at Dole Whip Dad. Uh, so I thought about that for Haley and Meg too. Oh, nice. Um, but I wasn't sure about which one would have Pumbaa. <laughs> I guess that's true. It's more of a, possibly more of a guy's, guy. well, I don't know if it'd be a guy's necklace though. So um, but anyways, uh, any of you guys have any questions, anything, anybody want to ask anything? Um, I'm, I'm open to answer questions too. We're just kind of here for, wait, what for Haley and Meg? I missed something. Meg, for my Lion King trivia that we're doing, um, in a, when the Lion King movie comes out, the, the prize for that trivia will be this right here, which is a, Lion King, Timon, and Pumbaa um, 
friendship necklaces and the the it's perforated. You can kind of move it and give one to yourself. And I don't know if that's not coming out or not. Sorry if it's not. But it's uh, it is one for yourself and one for a friend. So, but it's a little it's a little Pumbaa and a little Timon on there. So Corey Fiasco, hey, how are you, buddy? Laying in bed now at the boardwalk. That's crazy, Corey. I am so jealous of you, buddy. Uh, you guys, you, you, I'm I'm so happy that you are living your dream, and it, it's just incredible to watch you grow. Um, Meg is not home yet, and that is the reason why we are on live. She wanted something to watch while she was dry or flying. So, okay. So while I do that, does anybody have any questions that you want to ask or anything you want to talk about at all? And I'm looking for, there you are. Nope. There it is. Okay, so yeah, she's still on the plane. Mouse talk. Where is what did Mouse talk say? Corey Fiasco, are you laying on the boardwalk or inside one of the rooms? <laughs> Walt. All right, got to go watch Marvel. We're slowly catching up. Ant Man and the Wasp next. Take care of all. Bye, D and Miguel. You guys have a fantastic night. Thank you for being here. Uh, everyone is so nice to me. Meg, you make it easy for everybody to be nice to you. It, it's it. You're just. Your sincerity is infectious and people gravitate towards you. You do a fantastic job. So, hey, Chris, what's up, buddy? Um, Chris, DWA, Disney World Adventures. Kat, well, you are you are amazing, Meg. So, yes, it's Meg is amazing. It's very nice to be – or it's very easy to be nice to Meg. Plane rides can – yes, yes, yes. Okay. And, Shep, I did send you that. So, if you want to check your Twitter – Meg, I did buy pins and magnets today with dollars. Thank you. Oh, nice. Corey, I don't know if you were in here a minute ago. I picked up some pins for giveaways. I don't know if you have any of these. The first or no, I want to show that one there first. I picked up these uh, Aladdin pins, and I need to pull my hangouts back up because I can't see what there he is. So I got some Aladdin pins today for a giveaway. It's the ensemble set. Hey, Patrick, zippity doo dad. You guys are supposed to be in Florida. Thank you. I don't know why you're here, but thank you for being here. What's up, Chef? I snuck in. <laughs> yes. And then Corey, the other, the other one I got, that one just came out, Corey, that set. The other one I got is this Sleeping Beauty 6th Anniversary. It comes with Aurora, Maleficent, and Sleeping Beauty pins. Limited edition of $35.50. So, what's up, buddy? Dude, how are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I was what an bed. epic day. I, I can't, I missed yes, so much. Yes, it was. How, how good was Dan's stream? Oh, I, I was only able to catch like the end of it. I, uh, my sister turned 40 today, so we had a birthday party and stuff. So Very nice. but I, I caught the end and I was kind of checking in here and there, but man, that was just like, it was like an emotional roller coaster. I mean, that, yeah, that well, Dan is just so amazing with just being able to like, just communicate how great this community is. Mm -hmm. He, communicates how all the different channels that have been on all their mm -hmm. uh contributions they put towards the community it, it, he, that guy's awesome he's amazing yeah he is and i remember i was telling the story i think the first one the first person i found on youtube other just than just searching reviews or something was Corey fiasco i i was i was sitting and um just i don't know how his name popped up but he popped up it was like his third video or something like that. And I sat here and I watched him eat pasta and talk to me. I have no idea why. I thought, I like this guy. And so I started watching his videos as he put them out. Um, obviously, he is blown up. Hey, Nick from Magical News Live. How are you, buddy? Thank you so much for being here. Um, but so the first person I ever found on YouTube was Corey Fiasco. And again, it was, it was like his third video eating pasta. From there, I thought, well, if I like this guy, let me see who else he's connected with and see what I can find. And of course, through that, I found Meg and Dan because they were partner channels. Um, so I, obviously, Meg just does an incredible job as well with her videos. And then I got to see this. I was like, oh, my gosh, they're all three on Disney Fiasco. I started watching Disney Fiasco and just fell in love with the show. Three of my favorite people. They're just they do such an incredible job over there. And then I was the, I can remember the first time I was invited to be on Disney Fiasco. Um, I was nervous and I even, I think maybe even asked Dan, I said, are you sure? 
So <laughs> he was, uh, <laughs> uh, felt like a sense of, of a YouTube bucket list to be on Disney fiasco. So, um, and then to, of course, tonight culminates in, I think I've been on fiasco four times now and wow. well, five count tonight. And it, it was just an incredible night seeing all the people that have been on past across the past year, seeing what Disney means to all these people in this community. And then again, even Meg got me out of bed to, she wanted to watch, she, she was trying to get people to jump in the stream to keep Dan on, but it's after it was after three o'clock in the morning. I thought, you know what, this is what this community means to me. I'm going to jump on and, and tell Meg lands. So there yeah, that, you go. That Meg. was hilarious. Um, yeah. <laughs> that, that was the best part. I, I saw your comment You because uh, Meg had said, Steve, jump on. And I saw you say, ah, oh, I'm already laying in bed. Yeah. And so I'm like, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to hop in bed myself. And then I'm sitting there and all of a sudden I see you <laughs> throw out the, the uh, stream and I'm like, oh, out of bed. <laughs> yep. So uh, my Tiki's Bath video channel's <laughs> name was almost Birdie Bass. Nice. <laughs> if you guys don't know, Corey Fiasco also has a bearded dragon. I think it's a bearded dragon. It's it's a dinosaur and it's uh, his name's Tiki. He is, he is it really it just the cutest thing in the world. And it, Corey, I saw him the other day on a video and my God, it looks like he's tripled in size. I don't know if it was just the camera or what, but it looked like he's gotten so big. Hey, create fun clubhouse guys. If you have, if you're looking, if you got young kids and you're looking for a fantastic channel for the kids to go watch, absolutely safe, create fun clubhouse. They're actually associated with Dean Miguel from a Disney life for me. Um, but they're, they're, that's a great channel. Please go check them out. Cargo, you can't stay in chat, but one cargo before you go, I don't know if you can see it. I put the ears on Yoda. So <laughs> the, the up ears that cargo made those ears and I, uh, threw them on Yoda for, it was her idea to make some ears for Yoda. And I just threw those on there for now. So those are like, but Meg, you make, you make it really easy to be nice. Uh, you're just an incredible person. And like I, I said on Fiasco, I consider you, Corey and Dan and Haley, brothers and sisters. You guys are just so your family, and and there's no other way to put it. So, so what have you been up to, buddy? Yeah. I, I've been jealous. I've been jealous. I, I've, I've been getting <laughs> uh, I've been getting photos from uh, Zippity all day of everybody, yeah. and I'm just sitting here like, ah. Oh, but you're going so down in a couple weeks, though, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to June. I'm going to June. But man, yeah. his, his trip has been to all day today, just nonstop. Oh. Yeah, just today. You're talking about the the pictures of all the people he's meeting and yeah, hanging yeah, out yeah, with. Yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. Yeah, that so made just me jealous. Picture too. after picture, I'm like, oh, I'm so jealous. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to go buy a plane <laughs> ticket and head down there. Um, Bye, Cargo. Thank you so much for stopping by and saying hi. Appreciate you. Have a great night, Cargo. Um, where you <laughs> Meg says, wear ears, I will. <laughs> For Yoda, did, did she make those specifically for Yoda? Those are perfect. No, they're 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 actually made. She made them for. Um, I bought those from her for me actually, but she wanted to make ears for Yoda. They're actually too big. I mean, the band's way down here on oh, the bottom. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's just on there, but she she wants to make a pair of Yoda ear of ears for specifically for Yoda. So, oh, thanks, Corey. I appreciate that, buddy. Yeah, Corey. Corey's movie. crushing it. He's on. On the Disney, oh, yeah. huh? that's awesome. Yeah, well, well and, and you know, people gravitate towards good people. You, you're not going to gravitate towards somebody that that's that's not in it for the right reasons. It's not, you know, in my opinion, I, I I believe in karma and things like that, where I think you're rewarded for the good deeds you do and and the good things that you put out there. And on YouTube's no exception. And people are going to go to watch people that they believe in and that, and that's the reason why, I, I mean, I, I watch Corey and, and Meg and Dan religiously because I believe in what they do. I believe in them as people. Um, I believe in them as, as, uh, content creators. Haley has now been on camera as well. She had the same fear. We actually, Haley and I chatted in chat a lot of times before I ever went on camera about the same fears of just getting on camera and now once i well, of course once i do it i love it and she's killing it with Corey too so uh it's just it's just like a big family and then recently now i've i've met you who uh, you know you're one of the better friends i've got here and and zip too he's down there in florida right now still sharing some love with us here uh, on here yeah. on the uh chat i mean we got this massive youtube meetup that we're going to do that you know i 
I wouldn't go down there to meet people that I didn't really want to associate with. So um, it, it's just going to be great. And Jim, with more sunshine, please. Thank you so much for being here. Jim is one of the, I mean, again, I've never met Jim, but just watching Jim's content, he is just one of the nicest guys on TV. And I don't know how Jim's following is not larger than it is. He's one of the most uh, professional and entertaining live streamers that I've seen. He, he's got a lot more than I got. <laughs> so he, he does the buttons and the chat checks and the number or the uh, sound effects. And I just sit here and talk. So uh, I'm yeah, just not Jim, sure how, how his following is not better. Hey, Leaky, awesome. Leaky's Bike It. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you guys. So, yes, Jim, and, is, uh, Jim is awesome. And it will. And Jim's following will get better. I just don't know how he's not there yet. Um, he's just he's got an incredible channel and he does his again, like Zip. I said that in the, in the past, Zippity Doodads. Jim has great production value on his streams and, and content. You can tell he cares about what he's doing. He cares about the, the effort that he puts into it. So um, it's just such a great community. It's, I'm, I'm just honored to be a part of it. I agree. And it, I, I don't know if it was like, like I said, I caught the end of uh Dan's um, stream there. And I don't know if it was Charlie when he was talking or Abby, but um, you know, you, you've got a group of friends and, you know, I'm in the same boat. I got plenty of friends, but there's, I only have like one other friend that's as, as big of a, you know, Disney enthusiast as I am. Mm -hmm. And um, it's amazing how you just, you find something like this, you find people that all have that, that kind of same and that, that common, um, variable and it just spreads it just spreads yeah. and and everyone's so welcoming and, and, and it's, there's nothing to prove it's just you know everyone's all there for each other and you have that just that love for something and everyone shares that same love and it just it, it that's what kind of binds the community get it together and it's awesome it's it's amazing yep. well and, it, and it's a great community and it's it's like our own you know, it, it, it's our own sheltered little thing where, um, you know, everybody in this community needs to be respectful of each other and have a good time. If you're not here for that reason, then, you know, you don't have a reason to be here. We all want to be happy. We all want to share our experiences, our lives. I mean, I know I've opened up to people in this community and people have opened up to me about their lives. I know about people's families of people that I've not even met yet but I can't wait to meet. Uh, it's just, it's just such a great place to get away from the stress and, and faults of the world to come here. This is an extension of Disney. And like they were saying on the stream previous, Walt brought, Walt did this. Walt doesn't even know he's done this, but Walt is responsible for what we're here for yeah. today. So it, without yeah. Walt, you know, this wouldn't be possible. I would not meet all these wonderful people. I wouldn't know you. It, it, we just wouldn't know each other. And I get off work and I rush home to sit in front of this computer and see who I can support and who we can watch and who can entertain us. And that's, that's what I do. Yeah, absolutely. Um, same thing. I mean, it's, I, I wouldn't even, it, it's not an addiction. It's just a love. It's a love to, mm -hmm. to support and a love to, you know, be a part of something. And, um, this Disney community is, is something to be a part of. Absolutely. Something to be a part of. Yep. Absolutely. And Walt says, we just enjoy talking about Disney. Lucky to have met so many great people. We don't vlog as well as most, but we still enjoy the feedback and the support. And that's the thing. Like Walt's my partner channel, Walt from mouse talk. He does, you know, even if they, if they're not vlogging as much or whatever, Walt gives me all the support in the world. And, and it's just people like that, that I'm so happy that I met. They're just good people that mean well, and you know I can be friends with them forever, and not have to worry about anything. And Corey says, "Imagine if Walt Disney gave up when he went broke, the ent the entire world would be a different place." And absolutely, there is nothing that makes you feel as happy and loved as Disney. It just doesn't happen. If you can't go to Disney and have fun, don't go. It's not worth your effort because if if you can find if you can find fault. And, and Disney and not be happy there. Yeah, it's expensive, but if you can go there and not have a good time, then you're doing something wrong. Yeah, the, the moment you hit Magic Kingdom by bus, by boat, or by monorail, you know, when, when, you, yep. when you see the train station, 
it's butterflies. When you walk yeah. through, when you walk through the entranceway and you see the castle or you see main, you know, you see the town square and then you see main street and then you see the castle. It's just, you just have this sense of, I don't know, I guess you're, everything's good. Everything's good. Yep. You know? Yep. And then we get people like D Hazel D is it uh, about three forty six in the morning where you're at? I believe maybe. Um, wow. But D's, D's I mean, I, I think it's where she's at. But D's here. Thank you so much for being here, D. Um, and then you get people like Arjons, who is just an incredible person. I've, I've seen. I don't. I've never met Arjons, so let's. I want to be clear about that right now. I can't wait to meet Arjons. But you get somebody like Arjons, who supports everybody in this community and doesn't have a single video and has over seven hundred subscribers. Three forty-seven AMD. I knew it was late there. Thank you so much for being here. But um, thanks, Meg. I appreciate it. When you do, when we do lose you, Meg, we'll wrap it up. So, but you got people like R. Johns who support everybody. I've, I've seen in streams where he's offered to help people. He's offered to give people things that they need to make themselves better. It's just a, he, he's just an incredible person. And then you hear the stories from people like Cargo that have met him and, and Meg that have met him. He's just an icon in this community and and he's just there to help people harold's random videos hey how are you buddy thank you so, so much for stopping by zip's so, waiting for a bus just, right now zip says yeah he says we're making this wait for the bus so enjoyable so that's awesome <laughs> that's but, awesome uh, but yeah so i mean people, people like people like that that just support i know i could be wrong um but there, there's a lot of people here that still even show up to chat with us if you go to their channels, they only have zero, one or two subscribers, but they're in every one of the, the chats. They're not there for subscribers. They're there for support and entertainment. And it's just, it's pretty awesome to watch people how you don't even have to be a content creator to be part of this community and to be an integral part in that community. Yeah, absolutely. And I you know I'm not saying I'm one of them, but I mean, I, I had started my channel, but things, you know, just with family and stuff, I just kind of put everything on hold. But to me, it's mm -hmm. more important to be, you know, to show support, to be there for people. You know, that's what I'm all about is just showing mm -hmm. my support. And, you know, I, I like jumping on with people. Like I did the live stream uh, the last week just to kind of do the, you know, 18 tag. You know, I, I enjoy jumping on occasionally just to, but I don't think it'll ever be, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to be doing it on a regular basis. But for me, it's, just the community involvement, just being the, yeah. being a part of this, and it's sharing this this love of Disney with everyone else that shares the love of Disney, and that um, it it just makes like Disney makes sense, you know. It's people who love Disney, everything around Disney makes sense. You don't have to explain what it is; you just know what it is, and everyone in the community feels that way. And you know, one of one of them was saying. You know, an outsider kind of just looks at you like, oh, okay, it's, it's just Disney. But you know, yeah, it, and, it, and it's not just Disney. It's it's yeah. It's something you, you don't have to explain it to someone who gets the same exact feeling that you do. Yep. Yeah. And and Juan Rodriguez is still here. I, I've, Juan is another one that doesn't have any content whatsoever. Yeah. But Juan is one of my biggest supporters. Juan sent me this little minion guy back here. It's not little. He's nine inches tall. He doesn't look it. But I mean, the guy just out of the blue sent me that. And said, here, I thought of you and saw this. I mean, th these people are so amazing that you can meet on here. They, they truly care and truly support you. And that's, if, if you can't feel loved in this community, then, you know, talk to somebody and figure out what it, what's going on. Because, you know, every everybody could be happy here. Yeah. Hey, RV to Disney, how are you? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, just... You know, everyone just opens their arms. If if you're a genuine person and you and you're here for the right reasons, we're all here for you. We're all friends. We're all here for you. We're all going to support you. So as long as you're here for the right reasons, yep. it's as simple as that. <laughs> Juan sends Patrick Game of Thrones memes all the time, and see that's that's the other beauty of things too. Because not only just for this Disney community, um, I know you make so happy. See, yes. But no, since Walt think, or, uh, Juan thinks I need a Sum Sum intervention. He hasn't. He's seen a lot of my videos. My Sum Sums actually aren't back here. I have over a thousand of them. But uh, he, he keeps mentioning that we're going to need a Sum Sum intervention soon. So, but um, 
you know, Disney has all this, this Disney community has also led me to other things as well. I met, uh, Walt and I do a, um, a sports night show that, that we still integrate Disney into a little bit, but just so Steve, Tomorrowland Speedway reopened today, right on cue with the sports there and the Disney. So apparently tomorrow Speedland reopened today. That's awesome. I, I, really? You know, Walt, I have never been on the Tomorrowland Speedway. I would walk by it, smell it, and it had no desire. So I didn't think that was going to open uh, until after um, Toronto. I didn't was think so either. Completed. Amanda, I, hey, I hope I how are you, Amanda? Right. Lucky minute. Who's here? Oh, lucky minute, Amanda. Amanda lucky how minute. are you? Thank you so much for being here. And then I, I know I'm gonna. I hope I don't butcher this. Is that Dadu Love H A? Thank you for being here. Uh, if, if I mispronounce that, I apologize. So, and yes, Amanda, the lucky minute. Thank you so much for stopping by. Amanda is such a kind person. I, I love Amanda to death. So, um, but the, the, you don't have to be part of this to branch out as well. So, like I've started a sports show with Walt, and then you know the the best part about a lot of this is is a lot of people don't know this. After we, um, after we get off the streams a lot of times we'll sit here for hours talking off camera or on on hangout still but off the stream just chatting and talking about people or talking about each other's lives and not in a bad it's way just, yeah not a bad way. Come out the right way. We'll, we'll, like you know i can interact with shep and he'll tell me about his family i'll tell him about mine we just we're friends you know that's how you become friends we talk about it so we'll we'll sit here and just talk about our families and our lives and the good experiences we've had with other people. It's just it's just an incredible it's an incredible community. And um, I saw Arjun say he was eleven the first time he rode the speedway. Wow! I didn't, how wow. well I don't want to give away too much of your age there, Richard. But how long has the speedway been open? Is it was it? I know it can't be the original. Mickey's Magic Meg says, "Steve, oh my God, you haven't been on that." Hate people movers. Cop. Okay, <laughs> again. Let me let me rephrase this. So yes, spill the is that tea, Corey? Because I learned what that was a couple weeks ago. If that's spill the tea, I know what tea means now. Thanks to uh, Haley and Meg. So I'm laughing. Yes, yes, spill the tea. So I'm learning all the hip youngster lingo that that's, that's um, over my head. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So well, apparently, if the tea is hot, that means the gossip is hot. Oh, okay. And the, I, I, I thought I told I want to tell Haley, don't burn yourself, Haley. Yeah. <laughs> Just blow yeah. on it, go cool it off, put a piece of ice in it. So no, we don't we don't want a hot gospel. Uh. <laughs> so I learned what the tea was. So uh, <clears throat> hello Tiffy Bell. Thank you so much for being here. Um, but yeah, so I haven't been on the to the speedway and I this which is one of the absolute few rides I have not been on at Disney. I've almost been on it just about everything. Um and then uh, the People Mover and the Carousel of Progress. I haven't been on the People Mover for sure in at least 15 years. And I I, I didn't like it when I went. I, I just, it, it bored me. But at the time, I was more in, in it for the thrill of the rides. I didn't have the love and appreciation that I do for Disney now. I didn't appreciate the scenes and the, uh, and the others. So I, I know I'm going to love the People Mover. Um, I, I just know I am. It's something I'm going to enjoy. Well, I don't know if I'll love Carousel of Progress that much. It's a long ride for those four scenes, but it is a Walt original. So if you appreciate nostalgia and you appreciate, um, you know, the classic stuff, that's something I, I'm pretty sure I will like. But it, yeah, I know People Mover is not a thrill ride. That's why I didn't care too much for it 15 years ago. But, um, Oh wow, D see, at least I've done carousel progress. D has never even done carousel progress. But <laughs> am I even a Disney fan? <laughs> I will have a much higher love and appreciation for the people mover. And I will, I know I will love the people mover, but I still don't think that it would ever make it as far in my brackets as in it makes it in a lot of other brackets. I just don't know. I don't know. I could be wrong still, but I know I know I'm gonna like it. And I yeah. saw uh Angela said I have to go to Disneyland and ride Autopia. So that's I, I was supposed to be at Disneyland this year. I was gonna come out there this year. Um, and then of course, yes, Zip Patrick Zip says he'll do it all with me in August. That's awesome. Um, but 
I was going to do Disneyland this year and I opted for, I started talking with cargo and mouse talk about trips and they were, they were kind of overlapping each other. I thought, Hey, I can make this work to where I can overlap both of them and get to meet two of my friends. And then after I did that, then I found out Dan was going to be there. And then we just, it just blew up into this massive, massive meet and greet kind of. And, and I hopefully, I'm kind of hoping this is like a first annual thing. Uh, you know, I've got, I'm putting all these names of these people that are going together so we can organize a photo and everything. I'd like to admit possibly if, if it works out, make this an annual thing where we can all get together That'd or whoever awesome. can get together can make it, you know, and just see how, see how things go. Cause a lot of us only meet each other when we go down there. And it would be just be nice to to be able to make this an annual thing, so you have something to look forward to with some of these other people. Yeah, that would be awesome. Just to have something to organize, so it's not <clears throat> not so mismatched. You can just pre-plan everything. But um, just stepping back on the TTA, so you said fifteen years since the last time you did it. Yeah, you I think more, it was fifteen. Yeah, and you were more in a thrill ride and stuff like that. That was your reason. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So I mean, sights, sounds. Everything senses that that's what it's all about. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Just, just cruising around and people watching and just, you know, seeing all the amazing structures and just, you know, that, that's what it's all about. And you'll, you'll definitely, you'll definitely get that feel this next time for sure. Oh yeah. Well, and, and you know, I haven't even seen a video on it in 15 years until all these people started talking about it. And then I watch, of course, Josh and Jenna, a resort yeah. team. I think it's Josh's favorite ride, you know, he, I watched them do it. Then I watched videos from my friends putting it up and I'm thinking, you know, the other day I was watching somebody go by. Was it, was it Meg maybe that was doing a video and, and we're like, Oh, show us the Tron coaster construction, how that's coming. I mean, just, you don't get, you get to see that stuff from a different perspective. And, you know, it, to me, that's, that's the kind of things I'm about now uh, as opposed to the thrill ride. So I, I I know I'm going to like it. I just, I like to, keep telling people it's still not that good, but I'll <laughs> love it. I'll love it in August. I know I will. Yeah. Minds can be changed. <laughs> is, uh, and is Stacy, Stacy Rogers, or is that a different Stacy? I see people saying Stacy in the, must be a different Stacy. Yeah. I don't see a so, Stacy. So how long have you been going to Disney? Do you, I mean, do you, you guys been going, were you going long before you had kids or? <clears throat> Yeah, so we went, um, so like in the Disney the Disney uh, Question Challenge, so like 95 was the last big trip I went with my family when I was a kid. Um, <clears throat> and then me and my wife went when we were dating in 2004. Um, then we went back in uh, 2007 is when we got engaged. I uh, went back in 2008 with some friends. Uh, then went back in 2012 with uh, my family again with my sister, her kids. We didn't have kids at the time yet. Um, did a Disney cruise in 2015, which is awesome. If you haven't done it, you got to do it. Disney cruises are hands down. Amazing character interactions. They're awesome. They spend so much time with you. Um, plus it's just nice being on a cruise. Um, went back in 2016 with, uh, two of the kids. One was, uh, three, uh, no, one was two, uh, one was six months. Uh, then we went in 2017 with my family again as a big group. Um, and then uh, we'll be going June. So not since 2017. So we'll be going in June, but now it's with our family of six. <laughs> and then my uh, in-laws and my sister-in-law. And then August. So And then I bought DVC last year. <clears throat> and I bought the DVC um, more so because, I, I mean, obviously I want to, give my kids the experience that, you know, that I love. And, uh, I mean, my, my kids love everything Disney the few times they've gone. And that, that's what's playing at our house. 99.9% of the time is Disney junior. Yes. Um, but for me, it was like, you know what, with, with a family of six, it's going to be super expensive. Every time we go, mm-hmm. I had, I had some money kicking around. I'm like, I'm just going to, I'm just going to do it now. That way it's paid for, done, and then we'll just have to worry about tickets and food and, and, and travel. So, yeah, that's pretty um, cool. And uh, yeah. uh, real quick, uh, Jack, Sandy, Claus, Logan, thank you for stopping by. Mr. Green Thumb or Mrs. Green Thumb, I'm sorry. Thank you so much for stopping by. And I think I saw, yeah, Explosive Phoenix. Thank you guys all for stopping by. I really appreciate you. So, 
Um, yeah, and, and DVC is something I'm I'm actually looking into myself as well. Um, I know I think Walt I think Walt and Melissa did it too. Um, it, yep. I I almost did it non Disney. Uh, my one of my old bosses tried to sell me his, and I almost did it because there was one that was really close, but it wasn't his home location. So his home location was somewhere else, and and he. Uh, but if I could have gotten that one in Florida, I may have done it. But I. I want, I, I'm thinking about doing it. It just not only because if I can't use it, I could always give it to somebody else that can use it. Yeah. So um, yep. it's just one of those things that I, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping to, to dive into. So, and yeah. uh, I did see everybody talking about Slinky Dog as well. And have you been on Slinky Dog yet? I have not. So when we were went in 2017, Slinky, Slinky Dog was not open. Um, Pandora had just opened the beginning or what it was April or something like that in 2017. Mm -hmm. And we did have fast passes, but it just, it didn't fall with the kid's schedule. So I, uh, it was bad. I, I couldn't make it for uh for flight of passage. It was brutal. Yeah. Like my dad did it. My brother-in-law did it. And they were all ragging on me. Cause I mean, obviously got to do the, the family thing first. So, mm -hmm. you know, no, no regrets, so but. You haven't done full flight of passage yet either. No. No, oh, I haven't fine. done anything. I, I we did. Uh, we were able to sneak right onto um, the Navi River ride, so I did that in Pandora, and just did a quick walk through. But I really haven't spent a whole lot of time in uh, Pandora, and then um, yeah, nothing, nothing Toy Story Land. That was all. I haven't been there since. Wow, so it's gonna be good. And Corey just said him and Haley just got DVC at Copper Creeks. So that's awesome. Congratulations, Corey and Haley. That's awesome. So yeah, that's awesome. And, and, and I'll do, I was thinking about doing probably at some point I may do a video on DVC just so people can kind of get what my experience is and some of the tips that I have for it. Um, it Cause it's pretty seamless. Um, and there is two ways, like you said, there is resale, there's a resale market and then you can buy through Disney and real quick, Shep, sorry not to interrupt you. Um, no, 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 no. Our John's leaving. Our John's leaving. I just want to say everybody say bye to our John. So Thank you, Arjuns, for being here. I appreciate you, buddy. Okay, sorry, Chef. Go yeah, ahead. no, no, Arjuns, have a great night, buddy. Um, <clears throat> yes, there, there's a ton of ins and outs um, that I, you know, if, if anyone's ever interested. So I was just going to do probably a video at some point, um, just to kind of go over my experience. Like I said, my experiences, and oh. maybe even do a live stream so that people can ask questions. We can interact, so I can kind of answer the best I can. Yeah, but, I yeah, did actually, that, so. Yeah, Zip just brought up like Dave's DVC rental. So, I mean, that's another thing too. Like if, if you were to get it and you can't use it, you can always rent your points and, you know, you can borrow and, and bank multiple years. So, you know, people call it a timeshare, but the reality is, is it's not, it's not much of a timeshare if you yeah. look at the, the flexibility it has, you know? Yeah. So. And Pepper Tree Village just got here. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate you guys for stopping by. PTV. Uh, hey guys, what's up? DVC is something uh, definitely um, I'm going to look into in the future for sure. So um, we uh, we do look for people who are looking to do member spot. Okay. So, yeah, I, I, I can't believe – are you doing those in Jan – are you going to do those in June? Are you going to stick with the family, the rides, the Slinky Dog and the um, and uh, Flight of Passage? Oh, sorry, I just read something. What did you say? Are you um, are you going to be doing Flight of Passage and Slinky Dog those rides in June, or are you going to wait till August? So I couldn't get fast passes for them. So if we can, and I, I think I think it's forty. It might be forty eight inches for uh, for the ride, so it would only be able to be me. Um, so my my kid's like forty four, forty five right now. Um, so if I could sneak it in, and and you know if there's something that doesn't have a ridiculous, you know, if we can, if I can get right in there in the morning and jump right on, I'll do it. Uh, but I, I don't want to take too much time away from the kids. So definitely August hands down. I'll wait five hours. If I have to, we'll make it happen. Yeah. Um, yeah, for sure. It's, it's worth it. Flight of passage is incredible. It's, I can't, I, I rope dropped it and it was still a two and a half hour wait. So that's how bad it was. Wow. Um, and, wow. <laughs> Responding real quick to a, a question I saw earlier from Mrs. Greenthumb. She asked what I basically collect. Um, everything behind me, these are right here, all the Disney Infinity characters. Um, I have them all. And then I also collect Lego Brickheads, all basically all Legos, and just any kind of little toy. We do we do a lot. But things behind me right here, these are all Disney Infinity characters. 
these are all Lego brick heads. And then this is my pride and joy puzzle that is 40,320 pieces. So it's uh, 26 and a half feet long and six and a half feet tall. So it's pretty, pretty big. Um, okay, Meg is starting her descent, so thanks so much. Oh, Meg, thank you. You are uh, you are just awesome, Meg, and I, I appreciate everything that you do. We're going to go ahead and wrap up here in just a minute. Um, we might stay on for another 15 minutes to go an hour, and then we'll, we'll be getting out of here as well. So uh, not to get too off topic, but how often do you toy reviews? So Create Fun Clubhouse, um, I did toy – we we started watching Disney videos, and we started watching, like, Hey, where do we want to put plan for our food? So we started watching reviews for food just so we could see the food and see things like that. My nieces actually started watching all these toy reviews and they, they really, really loved it. They just, they just kept going and kept going and, and watching them. Then my other nieces or some of my, the other ones, the younger ones would sit in front of a thing and say, Hey, let's, let's go pretend we're doing a video. And I'd say, okay. So we would sit there and we literally would, act out we, we i'd go buy her a toy and we'd go sit there and she would open it and say hey guys today thank you for coming here and she'd go through her little spiel and then um so we started doing toy videos and i actually have over 200 videos that we have filmed that are not edited for toy reviews now a lot of them are older um a lot of them that were when we first started and the production value is really terrible quality so i'm not sure they'll ever make it on there but uh, we still do toy reviews. I, I love to do them. We did Vlogmas this year in December where I did all the Lego brickheads, uh, one a day for the first 25 days of December. Um, it, it, I, the toy reviews, are, I, I thoroughly enjoy those. But we just started live streaming. We started focusing more on Disney ride content and Disney uh, parks content. So but the toy reviews are still there. Um, and we will definitely continue to do them more often in, here in the future. But for now, I'm uh, I'm trying to build the the Disney base and and get with my community here. So, um, and good night, D. Thank you so much for being here. I know it's it's almost four o'clock. It's after four o'clock in the morning where you're at. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's amazing. Thank you so much. Help Steve out. That's great. So, and then yeah, we are. Uh, that's I didn't have any goals or aspirations when we started this. We you know we thought about it and thought you know if we just got a hundred people thought, watch this. I would be f absolutely floored. Then I started watching people and, and you know, you support them and, and everything. And then they support you and they watch your channel. And then they, you, you talk about ideas with people. Hey, this would be a pretty good idea. And I, I didn't even know what a collaboration was when I started. Um, uh, Walt, Steve, Walt said no. And what's that? Walt said no. Oh, well, see you buddy. Thank you so much. It's my partner channel, Mouse Talk Walt. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I appreciate you guys. We're not going to be on too much longer. So, Explosive Phoenix says, can you unbox and show off Disney Lego sets? Um, I have done some Disney Lego sets. Uh, we haven't got them uploaded yet. But, yes, m one of my pride and joys uh, that I want to do is the uh, Disney Castle the 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 from Magic Kingdom. And then um, – and then uh, the other one is the Millennium Falcon one, That's but it's $800. So I'm not sure if that one's going to come anytime soon. And Zip says he got his 300th sub on the Magical Express last night. Talk about magic. Nice, Zip. That's incredible. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Uh, Good deal. But, uh, yeah, so we, we started off slow. We didn't have any goals. And then, of course, YouTube changed the rules. We I, I planned this trip in August, and then we find out Galaxy's Edge is going to open. And I'm thinking, oh man, I can't wait to share this with all my. Once I started live streaming, it became like you said, it's not really an addiction, but I am addicted to it basically. And I want to I wanted to share my experiences with people, and people like watching those experiences. Is how we fill the voids of our life from between Disney trips is by watching other people go to Disney, and then YouTube put the halt on all that by saying you had to have a thousand subs. I'm not going to lie. I, I didn't think there was any chance I would have a thousand subs by August and that I was going to be very disappointed, but at least I could vlog it. I was looking on the bright side and I understand why they made their changes that they had to make. But now that um, I don't know what happened in the past month and a half, but uh, we're getting really close. So I'm, I'm excited to uh, the possibility may still be there. So. Yeah. Well, what's happening is, is, People are seeing what you're putting out and loving what you're putting out. So that's, that's oh, thanks, what's buddy. happening. 
I, pre I appreciate so. that. And, and, and as you, you know, for anybody that's out there that wants to start a channel or, or wants to grow rapidly, it is not a, it's, it's not an easy task by any means. The, the amount of, um, oh, thanks, Corey. I appreciate that, buddy. The, the amount and Pepper Tree Villa, you guys have been awesome too. And Patrick, um, you know, you got, I just meeting all you people is just incredible. And I, I appreciate everything that everybody says, does, supports. I, I greatly appreciate it. And, and I apologize, guys, if you can see that I am sweating in here. And I thought my air conditioner, the vent today was stuffed up and I didn't know it. And it froze and it's off right now. And it's 87 degrees inside my house. I'm trying to get it to thaw out and it's just not cooperating. So if you can see the glistening, it's not, it's not a movie technique. It's, it's hot. It's 87 degrees in here. So, um, Steve with the special effects. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So if you want to, you got to put in the work to grow, you really do. And you got to support other people. If you, you can't just expect people to support you without doing the work yourself. And if you do it right, you're going to want to be there with those people because you're going to want to view their content and you're going to want to see what they do. And you're going to want to see how to make yourself and them better. And that's why you have partner channels and power channels and, and you just grow together. It's, it's, you know, I have a show on Mondays, but that's one hour a week that I'm there. And then the rest of the week, I gotta, I gotta watch other people to get my fix of Disney. So you just, you just got to put in the effort and the, and the uh, time and, you know, start putting out good quality content and eventually it'll happen. So. And, and the beauty is, is even if it's the same, even if it's the same topic between two different creators, mm -hmm. it, it's two different people, two different takes, two different completely, you know, points of views. And that's what makes it great too. Is like you, you can have two same topics in the same exact day and have two completely different points of views, reactions and everything. And, and that's what makes it awesome too. Absolutely. And we've done that and uh, exposed to Phoenix. Thank you so much. And Michael Riley, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you guys so much too. But yeah, you're exactly right. And, and we do this a lot. And even mm -hmm. Meg and I, we uh, ran our song brackets together. I ran mine. I did mine on Monday. She did hers on Wednesdays. Mine, mine took four weeks. Hers took six because <laughs> yeah, the train, the, 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 the train, train it, it, but the train you know, wouldn't stop rolling. <laughs> you do those, and and it depends. I mean, you can do them either your choices, or you can do them by the, strictly by the chat's choices, and it could be completely different. If I ran the exact same stream because I use the chat, it could be completely different by who shows up the next time, and you could have a totally different result. So it's it's really fun. It's really fun to see different people's opinions and ideas. Getting getting to collaborate like I collaborate with Walt all the time. He's my partner. We talk about things and we don't always agree on things. He he's more of a purist and a classic guy. I'm more of a modern guy. But when it all comes down to it, we love it all. It's just which ones we love more and getting those different opinions and takes is what what matters. And it's it like you said, you can watch the same thing twice in the same day and get a different result and a different show each time. Hey Jelly, how are you? And 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 just kind of adding on to what you just said. And that's what keeps it interesting. You have, like what you said, Walt is a little bit more classical. You're a little bit more modern. Both together is what makes it jive, you know? And well, and then, and, and by create fun clubhouse, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you guys a lot. Um, th th you're right. And it does, if you, especially if you're doing them together, like when Walt and I disagree on something, I think it's actually really good instead of always agreeing. On, if we're going to always agree at the same time, we're half of the audience is going to be okay. The other half is not. They're just not going to have anything to 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 do. And that's why I like what a, D, a Disney Life for Me does on Tuesday nights. They put two movies up against each other. You're going to have some people that want one of them and some that want the other. And it's good mm -hmm. to see those opinions. And it gives you something to – it's almost like something to fight for and something to, to be involved. But it's instead of just watching a TV show, it's not just a TV show. You get to interact with that TV show and – be part of it and let your voice and opinion be heard and then just have a great debate all in good friendship and, and fun. And then, you know, it's, it's just something to strive for and something to look forward to each night. Oh, we got a quote from Zippity. <laughs> yep. I saw it. Go ahead. Disney just puts magic in your heart and we all keep it beating. Perfect. Well said. You yep, got to, uh, absolutely. now you got to go trademark that. 
<laughs> yep. <laughs> like I wrote it, and then on the second line, he put dash zip zippity. <laughs> <laughs> it's mine. So, that's All right, good, guys, good man. Up, Steve, what's in the white box behind you? Corey, you talking about the big white box right here, buddy? Is that, if, you, if that's what you're talking about, that is the puzzle that I was talking about. That is my Disney puzzle from Germany. It's Robinsberger. It's 40,320 pieces. The puzzle measures 26. I think it's 26. It might be only 22 feet, but I don't know. But I think it's 26 feet long, six and a half feet tall. It's a it's a monster puzzle, and it's it's the one of the greatest things that I've ever owned that's Disney related. Um, it's an incredible. It has 10 different Disney scenes. Luckily, they're packaged separately, so like the each scene is its own bag in the box. But um, but yeah, that's the that's my that's my pride and joy puzzle right there. And Rob Fuzz, my other Rob partner Fuzz. channel is here too. Rob, thank you so much. Rob's another one of those guys in this community that um, he, I, I don't remember where he was when I started uh, following him. But even when I started following Rob, he may have been at five hundred or something like that. But I was still like at ten. But Rob still took the time to show me the time of day. And if I had questions about equipment or if I have questions about anything, Rob is another one of those guys that's here for the community does a great job with what he does and, and he's just, he's here for support and, and love. And we appreciate you greatly, Rob. Uh, I'm still working on that puzzle from like a month ago. Jelly says, <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> he says, come on over, Steve. We'll use the living room in the villa to put the puzzle together. It's, it's, <laughs> it's big. Each section is like, it's over three feet by four feet. Each, wow. each one of these little bitty boxes right here is three over three foot by four foot. Wow. So it's, it's incredible. I'll, I'll try to do it. I'll get one of them. I'm working on, um, I've got, I've got Dumbo. Angela. Angela. She's back. Oh, Hey, back. Welcome back, Angela. I have um, Dumbo and well, I can't remember which one. I have Corey, Dumbo and Corey Dumbo. I'm right with you. Sorry. Sorry to interrupt, Corey. I'm right there with you. Ever. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever been to the puzzle I've attempted. So I started I many. Have, I have over 150 Disney puzzles that I've completed and done. And I have probably, I've got 10 or one, two, I have 16 of them hanging in my hallway. I probably have 40 to 50 of them hanging in my house. And the others are just in piles stored because I have nowhere to hang them. But uh, I glue them all. So when, when I get them done, I glue them all and then I frame them. And then uh, we go from there. But yeah, I, I love puzzles. I used to, this is going to sound really weird, but for when I was in school, I used to get bored. So I turn puzzles upside down and put them together upside down without the picture. Ooh, so yeah, I, I was, I led a sheltered that, life. I mean, that's, that's, talent. I that's, talent. <laughs> that's talent. That's uh, talent. So, I need, I need more than just the picture. I need like instruction manuals. <laughs> I, I need, I need on the back for it to say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that would still be a chore, though, trying to find the right numbers. I know. Hear that. Where, where's number four? <laughs> each one of these puzzles has over 4,000 pieces in it. So each one of these little blocks, that little block has 4,000 pieces in it. Wow. All right, guys. Well, we are at 57 minutes, and Meg is on our descent. So um, I just came on to uh, to be – I was bummed I didn't get to say hi to you guys on the stream. Oh, he's saying hi to the people on the stream. Um, I just wanted to come on to give Meg a filler so that she she wanted something to watch while she was on. So got to show a few things for our giveaway. Got to talk Disney with my friends. You guys are amazing. Shep, I thank you so much for being on here. Um, I don't even know how. If you have 31 likes, I have no idea. I didn't even know 31 people came in here. You guys are incredible. People still like zip down there. He's in Disney World watching us. We got people in bed watching us. Corey and Haley, I know it's late. You guys are, everybody in here is amazing. I cannot thank you all so much. Uh, you guys are just incredible. And um, you guys are absolute friends and family. I cannot wait to spend time with you guys in August. And Lucky Minute, I don't know red, but it's my favorite color. Um, and Amanda with the Lucky Minutes here still. Six Hand Spice, hey, how are you? Thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, Kay, I appreciate that. Honestly, though, it's it's just it's just me being genuine. I, I this is who I am. I'm a genuine person. I, I'm not. I won't say genuine person. I, I am. But I'm. I'm just. I, I speak the truth, and I really do sincerely care about people. And that's that's why I love this community so much because it's just a bunch of people that I can I can relate to. So, um, again, guys, I thank you all, Chris. Thank you so much for being here, buddy. 
Awesome stream, Steve and Chef. Have a magical night, everyone. Chris is another one of those huge supporters in this community. Um, I, I remember Absolutely. a quick story about Chris. One of the very first videos I ever did was a Sum Sum box opening. I ordered a case of Sum Sums. It was Series 11. They came in. That video has almost 9,000 views, which is the best video I've got by far. I don't know how it got that way far. And you have to rewind and see what I said about your mom. <laughs> it was all good stuff. <laughs> um love that yoda who is about to lightsaber you six hand spice that yoda does some crazy tricks i'll show it to you guys sometime I, it was on some other streams but it does some he he train it's a training yoda he responds to commands and if you know there's one where you if you force them and he 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 goes backwards and he fights you he trains you so uh, i appreciate that Rob. Meg but, uh, chris um I was I went over to his video once. He commented on my video. And I thought one of the things I always do is anybody that comments on my video, I respond to that video or that comment, and then I go check out their videos and try to respond to something they did. Just so happens Chris did one of mine, and I go to Chris's, and he was talking about watching my video and talking about everything. And the one thing I I didn't know who Chris was at the time, but Chris said he he said we just got done from watching Steve's Sum Sum video. If you're not subscribed to Steve, you're not you're doing YouTube wrong or something like that. And whatever he said just caught me. I went, wow, this guy is just incredible with support. And he's been there for me the entire time. So thank you so much, Chris, as well. But um, well, Shep, you got anything you want to say or plug? And Meg's still here. Oh, we yeah, still have an hour. She said they still have an hour car ride home. Oh. <laughs> so. Meg, I don't know. I'm not sure I can be on for another hour. And Holly's here. Hey, Holly, how are you? Yeah. Do you have um, any, you want to add so, so, so Zip, um, he, he's he should be doing some live streams. I've been pushing him. He's got to get some live streams going. I, I was I was expecting one today. A little, little disappointed, but uh, no, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, he, he's definitely going to be putting something out uh, while he's down there. So definitely, everybody, keep an eye out for that for sure. Um, we're all glad that uh, Meg's back on the ground safely. And uh, yeah. sad that she's not. But. Yeah, and too bad she has an hour ride home. That's always yeah. that, that probably is even the worst, you know. Yeah. Because then it just all settles in, and that's when the, the Disney depression hits. Um, yes. But uh, other than that, I mean, just great people in this chat right now. Everyone's still here. PTV still in here. Uh, Angela's still in here. Chris is amazing. Best dude out there. Just supports everybody all day, every day. Um, you know, tries to always send people everywhere. Rob Fuzz is the man. Um, Arvina the Disney, Lucky Minute. I don't know if you caught. They they had their um, 18 question. They they did it together yesterday yes. around lunchtime. That was who, great. Who was that? Um, Lucky Minute and Arvina the Disney. I I think it was it was a couple days ago, wasn't it? I think or was it yesterday? Or wait, no, today's only Saturday. Wow. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, yeah I thought it was they, yesterday. I, they, they did a great job. It might have been two and, days ago. I thought it was yesterday, and, but yeah, it could be two days ago. Chris does say he might be going live after we're done too, so that's good. I have to get out of here. It's 87 degrees in this room, and I'm locked up with no fan on, so I've got to get out for just a second. <laughs> we're done, so I'm, 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 it's it's getting wet in here. So, uh, so it, it was nice to see yeah, there. Hey, the okay, everybody! It's awesome. Everyone's in here. Good deal. Well, guys, um, you want to plug anything real quick, Shep, before we head out? No, no, I, I may do a DVC live stream like I talked about probably at some point. I don't, you know, pretty, pretty casual. So whenever it happens. <laughs> I've got questions, buddy. So whenever you're ready. So absolutely. Yeah. guys. Again, thank you all so much um, for being here. Um, yeah. Sweat boxes. It is, it is warm here. My, if you didn't hear my air conditioner froze up on me today, so it's unthawing right now. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, I found out I was missing some insulation too. So that's, that's crazy. But guys, if you're around Monday night, bring your Aladdin trivia knowledge. And I'm not talking about simple Aladdin trivia knowledge. Make sure you know how Google works because you're going to need it. Come and then you have your chance to win this nice little genie of the lamp right here. So the winner of the trivia on Monday, will get that. We're going to do it once a month or so. It's called impossible Disney trivia. Captain Akron, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you stopping by. Um, come out. Get ready to Google. It's Google is encouraged and needed. So, and then yes, oh, yeah, pub, pub talk on Monday. On for me, we might actually, depending on how things go, we might actually push 
the trivia a little bit late. And we'll figure that out because Josh and Jenna, or Josh maybe from Resort TV One, I think it is, may be able to join Pub Talk. We're going live at 5 o'clock on Pub Talk on Rob's channel, who's my other partner channel. Um, 5 to 8 is what it's scheduled for. But if Josh can join us at 8 o'clock for Resort TV One, then we'll see how that goes, and we'll play it by ear. But otherwise, I'll be on 8 o'clock Monday regular, and um, we'll have some possible Disney trivia, and the winner will get the genie, and it'll be uh, it'll be fun. So, oh, I'm sorry, Rob. <laughs> Everybody forget what I just said. <laughs> so, <laughs> go just go. You got to go back now and edit the video. Just, yeah, I'll edit the video. Don't don't pay attention. Wait, the to that. minute. I, every everyone look at my Men in Black flashy thingy here. Yes. <laughs> I apologize, Rob. Look into the red dot, everybody. <laughs> Lisa from Carter's Eat, thank you so much for stopping by. We're getting ready to head out. But, guys, I appreciate you all for being here. Um, everybody have a fantastic night. If Chris goes live over at DWA, yes, I'm going to turn on the fan soon. Chris goes live at DWA, head on over to him. And otherwise, guys, have a great night, and we will all see you next time. Thank you so much for being here. Bye, guys. <laughs>